CataractCoach.com, you must learn the ominous snap sign. Snap sign indicates a sudden rupture of the posterior capsule. Watch carefully. We have an anonymous surgeon who's operating here. Normal type of cataract. Looks like an intact posterior capsule. Rexus is completed. That looks great. The snap sign is when you get a highly pressurized pa- capsular bag, a blowout of the posterior capsule. Watch carefully. So hydrodissection and that snap right there. Did you see it? Let me show it to you again. Same speed, normal speed. There, that snapping where the pupil comes down and you get that sudden deepening, that's the posterior capsule breaking. Watch again, slow motion. So hydrodissection coming across the nucleus. Cannula is holding the nucleus back. And there, the pressure releases and the, everything snaps when the posterior capsule blows out. Now, this is one of the reasons why I like to do the hydrodissection from the side. Let me show you again. The cannula here is blocking the nucleus from coming up. Boom, there's the snap. It's done. Posterior capsule at this point is wide open. So we'll finish up the case here. I'm going to show what's going to happen. We're going to put viscoelastic in here, and the is going to try to do the surgery and proceed normally, but we know what's going to happen. That whole nucleus is going to fall into the vitreous cavity. It's done. So when you do the higher dissection, I try to go to the sides, left and right sides. I don't want the cannula to block the nucleus from coming out of the capsular bag. Sometimes you inject too much BSS and the, ca- the, uh, the cataract wants to come out of the capsular bag. That's okay. But if you have a very small rexus or the cannula, like in this case, was blocking and preventing the nucleus from coming up, well, then the fluid has to be released somewhere and it blows out the posterior capsule. So surgeon's proceeding here now with the phaco probe, trying to sculpt a groove down the middle. It looks okay for now because there is some support still, but the posterior capsule, in essence, is just wide, wide open. You can see the surgeon's also put in some iris hooks to just be on the safe side in case the pupil starts to come down. That's okay. Notice how the nucleus has a hard time rotating. That's an ominous sign. Now look, there's a gap between the nucleus and the iris. Look how deep it goes in the eye. And deeper, and this is already gone. It's already way, way, way gone. You can see that. It won't rotate. There's a gap because the nucleus is falling posteriorly. So there's a gap between the iris and the nucleus. So trying to groove it again, it just, at this point, this is uh, kind of futile. It's going to fall back in the vitreous cavity. At this point, you want to bring the nucleus out of the bag and convert to MSICS. At least get the nucleus out of the bag. But again, trying to groove here, sometimes you don't realize this. You're doing the case and you don't realize that the posterior cap's already wide open. Some of this, these hints we get are on the subtle side and you may not realize it right, out, right away. But now you can see there's just too much movement of that whole nucleus. Way too much movement here. And you can see it's just not being supported. It's hard to do it as the groove is trying to be created. The whole nucleus wants to move. So this is a case where, yeah, converting to MSICS is a good idea. More viscoelastic, but look how deep it is there centrally. And that's because the nucleus now is being pushed away because there's no posterior capsule to hold it. So this nucleus, very shortly, watch as the new infusion pressure goes inside the eye. Oh, trying to crack it, okay. Again, a case like this, it's already done. You want to convert to MSICS, bring the nucleus up out of the capsular bag into the anterior chamber, abandon the cornea incision, make a new scleral incision, get the nucleus out of the eye if you can. So good, look, it's just too deep. It's way too deep. You can see that big gap, that big clear red reflex there at the top of your screen. That just tells you it's way far gone. So this nucleus is already at the top of it, at the top of your screen, that nucleus is already falling into the mid vitreous. As soon as the infusion pressure goes into the phaco probe, you can see the infusion pressure is gonna cause that extra push and that whole nucleus is going to, boom, go right back in the vitreous cavity. So, again, this is a tough thing. It can happen to any of us, but you got to be vigilant. So the snap sign was that sudden snapping of the anterior chamber and the pupil. And you notice that when you have an instant blowout of the posterior capsule. So now look at that high infusion and guess what's going to happen. You know it. Look, there it goes. Gone. Now, it's okay. The patient's going to get a parse plane of vitrectomy, parse plane lensectomy. Time to just clean up the anterior segment. There's the nucleus. Should you go after it? No, just let it go. Just let it go. Much easier to have the retina surgeon do it through the parse plana. It's already engulfed in vitreous, and there's just no way to remove it through the anterior chamber again. You just can't. 
It's too far engulfed with vitreous. If you yank on that nucleus now, you're going to get a giant renal tear, renal detachment. It'll be a big, hot mess. Better part of judgment now is clean up as best you can right now. Take out any remaining length of material that you get from the, the cortex that's there. And let's clean up any prolapse vitreous and send the patient to the retina surgeon. Now, should you put an IOL in and do an anti vitrectomy now? You know, it depends on your, your own situation here. If you think there's a good orexis, which there looks like it is here, you can do an anti vitrectomy, clean everything up, put a sulcus lens in, optic capture, suture the incision, and then have the patient see the retina specialist. Or you can send the patient to the retina specialist, as is, a phagic, and let the retina specialist take out the nucleus, do the full vitrectomy, examine the retina, and then put in the secondary IOL with the fixation of your choosing. So, great case. You must learn that snap sign.